just had a chance to do podcasts. Have you ever played on a paper map? Not for a very long time. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu Gi Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight I am joined by no- uh, Ben from Nolan PTG. Not Nolan from Ben. So the second one came out in And Blake from Blake Goes Face. How was our week in Yu Gi Oh! Ben? That was fine. I definitely took a strategic L at locals, um, but that's fine. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, he lost on purpose. That it'll oh, be a no, 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 I didn't do uh, no such thing. Why? Why would you do that to people? For content. Uh-huh. He, needed, <laughs> so, he needed a fourth round so he could get a video. I'm going on holidays. I need all the content I can get. Nice. So enjoy the extra round. Go give it okay. a like. I got you guys covered. Um, He's yeah, always thinking went, about the people. I ended up going 2-2. It was fine. Uh, my real loss was to Andrew. Uh, yeah, Necros be a ting, right? Yeah, it's just kind of like a little annoying. And then uh, he didn't open well enough for change of heart to swing that game. Uh, and then I, against Jesse in the last round, I opened change of heart games two and three and took his fucking... Mirror Jade. No, I took his... He kept making the Bernie one. I took his Bernie one and it was like, no Bernie for me. <laughs> no. No, uh, no burn. Also, I'm just going to keep playing. Thank you. Yeah. Uh... And then we went to KFC and someone hit my car. Yeah, cool. We moved. KFC's like, just not been the thing for you, huh? Nah. I don't like it, but yeah. it seems to start be getting cursed. Start be getting cursed. Words. Blake. Yeah. I have, in preparation of rights, huh. um, in preparation, I've started to fuck around with us a little bit to get my jams, get, get ready on the potential for some um, aviary action. Uh, bird on bird. Yeah. On bird on bird. I don't like bird. that. <laughs> I don't like that. We're not appealing to our furry audience, Jake. I, uh, I, well, our whether, our I, I was going to say, I don't know whether furries tend to gravitate towards birds. I don't think... Is there a bird in there? That's what I thought it was. <laughs> I think it's just washing. Oh. What is that? Seb, what's this? <laughs> I didn't know this is here. Did you put this here? Yeah, it's my sheet. Oh, okay. Did you just hang a sheet? Because yeah. <laughs> my very first thought when I saw it, I was bird like, cage. "Bird cage." Yeah, it's, it's got it's got Rabina in it. It's trying to search her. Yeah, that's the Rabina that's supposed to be in Master Duel and said, "Like you go night." No, good night, <laughs> fucking Konami. <laughs> I hate you. So yeah, prepping for uh, Pre- actually prep, Yeah, and like that way, at least if it comes out, just make the deck see what how it runs. Um, it's been fine. The the I caught like a bit of the festival, and I was like the fusion festival. And I was like, oh yes. How many fusions did you not summon? All of them. <laughs> what cancer deck were you playing? I I, don't, I just copy pasted like three random things that people were like, you don't need to use fusions for this, and I was like, I'm gonna do that. Um, you played Cleet, didn't you? you yeah, bitch. I did. No, I did. One hundred percent, I did. Um, it it did. It actually did fine. It just did what it did. And then on the games that I didn't open kind of well, I was like. I skip. I go next. I go next. Um, I said open well. I don't want to play. I don't want to play. <laughs> I want to be the kid that goes to locals and says, "Yeah, but I open really well at home, guys. I don't know what's happening today." Okay. <laughs> With my friends, I did full combo, and then you know, I just just if I had X card, this all would have been different. Yeah. If I open change of heart every round, I open change of heart every round. Yeah. See, Ben gets it. It was never relevant. Uh, if, That's uh, interesting. Except against Jesse. Uh, well, against Harry, uh, you, it targets, so he just pops the card that targets. Sure. Uh, yeah. Against Jesse, it was fine. Look well. Okay. Like, against Andrew, it didn't matter because uh, Verte is not a thing anymore. No. So you can't just change of heart their card, normal summon, go into the link, mm. just to clear off like the Unicorn. Right. It's actually hard to get. Problem. It's actually hard to get rid of it because Unicorn is not your opponent. It's both players. Everybody. That's a problem. Oh, but that's... I, I intended to use it to take the vanities and then attack over, and then just have free run. But he didn't summon it. He didn't summon the vanities. I lost this again. That's okay. Uh, my week. Uh, so I wasn't in Sunday because um, free holiday um, was very good. Uh, came back very to fair. locals tonight. Uh, went X one. Um, just open fairly average against Earth Machine, and then also didn't realize that Regulus is an Omni negate. I assumed it was just monsters. And then I went for a brand of fusing, assuming that I'd be able to chain block the next thing. And he's like, negate. I was like, mm. like, hang on. Why? <laughs> yes. And I definitely could have played around it, but I didn't. Oh, well. 
That's um, we, we don't read cards here. Uh, it's just not a thing we do. No. You uh, learn by failure. Yes. Yeah. You see it in the video, it. you see it do a thing, you assume that's the only thing it does. Yeah. And then when you ask your opponent, they say, nothing for now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, ended up going X1, um, had a quite fun mirror match against Jesse, um, and it was like the most mirror of mirror ma- matches. Like, it was just. Like we're both summoning the same thing at the same time, doing the same effects. It was very fun. Right. Yep, cool. I, I like mirrors when they're like that. When it's a mirror and one person hasn't opened well and they just get fucking dunked on. Yeah, and you're just like, here's mirror jade, ha, huh? do it, interact, and they go, yeah, pass. And you're like, okay, you die. Yeah, I learned nothing from this match. Awesome. Oh, that's good. Yes. Um, so we had an incident last week where we predicted. The ban list, which oh, we thought God, was going to be God quite sake, some time. Guys. We thought we'd have time to maybe analyze, get some Bro, feedback from people our are audience. Think we're like fucking insider trading. <laughs> and uh, not two hours later, two hours ban list. Not not even two <laughs> hours. Was, it wasn't even two hours. It wasn't even two hours. We just kept the podcast going late enough. Like we run at three a.m. already. If we just actually run at three a.m., now we run at three a.m. Just yeah, can you yeah, can yeah. you imagine right? Like, We're doing the podcast. Band I band go, drops. let me check what's at two, and then I go, lads. There's a ban list. Lads. <laughs> um, so, oh. yeah. Um, the, obviously, you guys wouldn't already know how well our predictions have gone. I've, I've the taken, numbers now. Yeah. I've taken some mental <laughs> tally. Look at my minus ones. I haven't even gotten to the stuff that I had predicted and wasn't on the list yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? This is my minus one tally. <laughs> Isn't that my minus one tally? No, your minus one tally is one I'm filling out right now. Okay, I think mine's bigger than yours, right? Because uh, absolutely no, yeah. will be. No, you yeah. got. Oh wait, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you're. I there was a c- three. Oh, yeah, because I I did include a bunch of just wants, but I don't care. Yeah, yours was reading. I ain't much going like for the wish win. list. I, yeah, the yeah, well, yeah, exactly right. And you know what? It's gonna keep being a wish list until like, give me what I fucking what's, want. What's more? What's the M A W? What? What's M A W? You predicted M A W. I don't know, brag it more. But where? Right well, at the to bottom. To three. To three? Yeah. Uh, Hero Lives. Yeah. I am, The things I... I'm, uh, you said Terraforming, Upstart... Maxi. Maxi. Unless, you, is maybe it Max? that's what it is? Unless maybe he just got lazy. Is, is Maxi to three there? No. Then it's Maxi. Okay. Because cool. I, I have Max. I, I, I had said Max to three. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Now it's time to calculate but, Jake's. Um, but yes, there was a couple of things we expected. A couple of things we uh, we yeah, expected we... to be on the list that weren't. Yeah. A couple of things we a couple of things we very much didn't expect. <laughs> to say the least. To say the least. Um, what were when you first read it? When you first went through it, what was your initial like? What was the first thing you went? Oh, this. Um, Yada Garasu, hundred percent Yada Garasu. Yep. Like. Oh yeah, cool. Because that come up before change of heart. <laughs> yes. It yeah. Did. So the th- like, my mind went through a bit of a whirlwind at that moment. I was like, "Oh fuck, what's happening?" And then I like reel back and I was like, realistically, like at the point where a Yata will matter, it won't matter. It's not a win base. It's a win more card at that point. Yeah. And you're just sort of like locking in that position. But you don't need it. It's not a, oh, dude opened Yada against me, I guess I'll lose. No, it's like, oh, I was already it's losing and I don't have hope of winning. Yes. Um, uh, time Seal as well was, I guess, a part of the package of skipping draw phases that they said. Yeah. It's not going to be that good. No. Like, to be able to pull <clears throat> it off for the first turn, you have to go through a really stupid line of, like, Mercuria send it to grave get the actual trap to use it and then use it on your turn and even then by card resource alone you've gone pretty neg just to go ha you have one less card i i'm gonna i'm gonna be real for those two in particular it makes me like actually mad because my thing about literally what we said about scythe we don't like these effects in the game they are super unfun just don't put them in. It, yeah. it is cool that I, again. I love Yara as a card. Um, I it's a collectible card for me. I really like it. It's really pretty. Time seal is funny, but on the real, don't put that shit in. We don't need it. Jake, what's this? What's uh, tiger jackalope. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, your tiger. Dangers. Was Lunalight tiger. Lunalight tiger. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. my thing no, is, it was change of heart tiger. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> change of change of tiger. 
Um, that that's just my thing is I appreciate them as I say cleaning up the band list. I'm a big fan of this, but those effects just they don't know, need to be there. You know when you're playing against the mind player and they go time seal, you're gonna go. I hate this. I hate this so much. It's just I know it won't come up. Just don't have those effects in the game, please. Just yeah. just leave it. Especially because of the nature of this game, there will be something that comes out in six months, twelve months, eighteen months that like, does make cards no. like Yada, like Time Seal, just don't really it. busted, and they don't need to be because they're going to go. Oh well, now this card has to go back. Like no one, no one was crying out for Time Seal to come back. No, people have been wanting Yada back because they fucking suck. As a collectible card, it's a beloved card, I think, at this point, because people weren't playing at the time when you got fucking yada locked. Um, it's just not a thing. It just don't. It's those kinds of effects aren't a are horrible in both scenarios. So just don't. Um, change of heart was the other thing that I went. My brain went. Snatch steel format. Here we go. I melted. But, uh, yeah, I also reacted like it's snatch steel. It's just snatch steel. I think the I, I think maybe you said to me, um, maybe uh, or maybe I'm a weirdly saw a reaction video, but the format is very different from when Snatch Two oh, was the yeah, case. It was like, yeah, yeah. It's, we now have negations. Yeah, there's Something there's a bunch of things well. that like will let you play around that kind of stuff. And and it's a good point. Without Anaconda, you're not kind of able to go. Give me a thing. Summon a monster. Up gone. Yeah. Uh, into Anaconda. Into yeah. DPE. Like. If only. Yeah. Um, if only that was a toxic interaction we could have had. But I don't love it coming back to one anyway. It will just lead to me feeling like, oh, great, they had it. Um, which I don't love that, but it's a cool thing to do quickly. I guess the same thing was like, because mind control was at one at one point, or was it yeah. at zero? It, it was at zero at one point, and I think it might have been at zero. No, I think it was always at one. I'm pretty sure it went down to one and stayed there for a long time. Yeah, and then it came back in like, and same with Super Poly as well, um, and that's still a three. So yep, yeah. I'm a calculator because yeah. I have completed. Oh, the tally. Our band list the tally is completed. I just need to do some math. Uh, credit goes to Blake. He had the most pluses. However, I do believe he had the most negatives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, so I'm, this one, this is this is my thing, guys. This is like in some craziness. There's genius. This is pure FPS feels where like you get the trophy for most kills and most deaths. Yes, most kills because you just go kills. out there with the gun. You're just like ah, boom. <laughs> Listen, uh, you throw enough darts, some of them will hit the board. One might hit a bullseye. Sick. So I... One might hit your mate. Listen, for my predictions, I have ended with a triumphant negative seventeen. Uh, yep. Very nice. Yes. Uh, let's go for Blake's time. So we've got. One, two, three, um, four, five, six. Did seven, we get Hero Lives back? Nine, ten, yeah, Hero Lives went back to um, three, which I think all three of us predicted, right? Yes, yes. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So Blake's going to get negative 33 on a score of nine. Let's go! Uh, oh, so negative. Negative 24 to Blake. Is you, oh, better than I thought, to be honest. All right. And now time for Jake's. My list was a lot five, six, seven, was eight, minimal compared to yours, but I had definitely had a few rogue. Um, I like the I I love that we both hit the monkey board. Yeah, that I was, was super sick. stoked about yeah. the monkey board. The reason I thought it was is because a they were getting pendulum support and b there was performer power support. Oh my so god! Like, oh my god! We have a tie. <laughs> Ooh. Jake, uh, Ben wins. I am triumphant once but, again. Uh, me, me, and, me and Jake are the same. <laughs> Jake and if I'd have just rela if I'd have just relaxed. So no, uh, I'm not doing that. Blake, you definitely had the most correct. Uh, I had eight points of correct. You all technically we had the same amount correct, but you guessed desires to three, but desires went to two. Mm. Thus, you got nine points correct. I should have realized that they would have like yeah bumped it back, but yeah, I got eight points correct. Jake, you got six points correct. But yeah, Blake got costed by all of his random. <laughs> Guesses. Um, did we both? Did we both say monkey board to one? Yes, you both yeah, okay. specifically said monkey board to one. Um, Jake's other correct guesses include a ban of Verte and a ban of Meow Meow Mew. Oh, Meow Meow, not, of course. He did not, for some reason, predict a hero lives to three. I, he definitely I, did. I swear you definitely I had did? that on my list. Then he beats Blake. Oh, wait. Maybe? I I swear to God you did. I've got a hero on my list. Yeah, Scapegoat and a hero lives. Oh, that'll be an extra two points to Jake, meaning he finishes... Oh, extra four points to Jake, sorry. Meaning he finishes on negative 20. Hell yeah. Easy. Yeah, I was going to say, you definitely did that. Uh, I should probably present the big board. 
Yes. The big board of bands. Um, Mine's on the table. So, one. I guess the most obvious one uh, that wasn't on the list was Scythe. Yes, um, no Scythe. Pendulum can still Scythe, am I pointing at Scythe? Really close. Up one. Really close. Weatherman. Um, <laughs> was it not you the other day that was saying I could definitely be a weatherman? I don't think it was me. I swear it was you. No, I, like, can, I can point at things on a screen. I'm definitely <laughs> no. need to permit a filing with lawyers, uh, a TV producer, so my bare naked ass. Yep. Yeah. Good. <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, if Pendulum get consistent enough to scythe, um, that could be a good deck. Um, Monkey There's board still probably for a sure heap of lot. decks that can still scythe fairly consistently. Um, Drytron can do it fairly consistently because yeah. they can, well, they can already search scythe, but they also have leak material for days. Virtual World does it real easy. I'm going to be honest. How and Virtual World do it? Uh, they foolish it off uh, Beatrice and then they summon it back with uh, Baron de Fleur. Oh, that's AIDS. Yep. Oh, that's oh, really I funny. I hate that. Yep. Like, it's in the standby phase, I guess, but the Baron Negate is still live until yep. it actually leaves the board. Yep. Oh, that's so hate. Um, the, other <laughs> thing, the other thing is, I guess, uh, if Pendulum get, if Pendulum just got... Uh, buffed? Yeah, buffed, I guess we could call it. Um, it's fine. I would like to see it more because I like Pendulums as per usual. What Monkey Border 1 will do, we'll find out. Uh, I thought, like, if they really wanted to, they could have bumped, like, face off or something like this. Yeah. But, I don't think Monkey Board to One's that good. Like, it's a one yeah. card scale. Sure. But it kind of, it chooses your normal summon and so on. Okay. It definitely has applications, though. I like the idea that they can add um, the other scale if they need. They also got a really good draw card in the new set as well. Like, you um, pitch it and a performer power to draw two. Oh, um, that's pretty good. So, if only yeah. put them in face of extra, that'd be boss. Awesome. That would be really good. Um, yeah. And definitely, like, the scythe ban or non ban sucks. It kind of aids that you just have to deal with that for I mean, I don't however know. long now. Like, because that ban list is in effect for quite a while. Christmas Day. Wow. Oh my god, We're Christmas Day. Get a Christmas, Christmas Day, list? Day ban list. That would be so much fun. Be tuned for oh, yeah. a Ben's birthday ban list. Surely we come in. Surely we come in. Well, that night we'll do Christmas dinner here. Yeah, Christmas sure. night, just yeah, in case there's a ban list. Yeah, making plans already with the boys. Do we have to do it at three AM? What though? What the fuck? No, I'd absolutely have to do it at three AM. I have to do family things. Me too. I have family things as well. Three AM? No, but I got work the next day. Same. Who cares? I have to run a retail store on Boxing Day. Ew. Yeah, exactly. Oh God. Delegation, you. Ben. Delegation. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but, no, that, it's interesting that this will be the forever format and through Splite, through any other BS yeah. that comes we out. We will have full power branded versus full power Splite. I will be curious to see true. how that goes. That's actually very true because, um, yeah, branded um, and a bunch of other stuff got nerfed just before Splite came out. Yeah. So there was never really Nothing. a head-to-head -head there. They, they are not copying anything. But I, I agree I, with... So I was going to say I do agree with Brandon being at full power though I don't think there was needed a pre-hit to Brandon oh, at all oh of course no, yeah. not at all Mary Jane is a redonkulous card it's not but, that boss but day. like who cares just kind of does shit in a vacuum Mary Jane is quite balanced do you get to send one uh, you don't get to use it till your next turn I, I don't think However, Mary Jane in a vacuum <laughs> is quite balanced you get it back and then it leaves the field and yep. then you nuke your opponent's board and yeah, you try to get them I think it's quite balanced because like <laughs> in a vacuum yes but but you, you what you're saying is you need to have a monster negate either on the board or in the hand somehow then remove the mirror jade through a banish i don't think in a vacuum no, it, it's it, it triggers when it's banished it's no it no 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 sorry like through you, you through them have a banish. Okay. yeah i'm saying like you need a way to deal with it which look i've got a way to deal with it great fun most decks don't. I think in a vacuum it's actually a fucked card it's very hard to deal with you're right and, and that's assuming it's fucking, only the mirror jade because fucking barrier statue when you listen, can only normal summon and trigger their entire listen, fucking line listen, is so much more balanced we're not here to have a conversation I wasn't the one claiming that barrier statue wasn't good in a vacuum 
Yes, Barry however, Statue you have opened card. yourself for cross-examination, sir. Sure, let me tell you something. Barry Statue is the best card of the game because Mirror Jade isn't a win. Just wait until fucking we get a world exclusive super poly target that needs a fucking a dragon and a, a bird. A, a, a dragon and a bird. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Just play a win target in your extra deck. There isn't one. Just find one. Just I one. have looked, Ben. Is there not a win super poly target? No. I am not almost for that certain board. he has worked. Uh, he has worked to find an answer. I have looked for this, Ben. Do you know my solution for bird? <laughs> Book. Book? No. Get uh, down! <laughs> Mrs. Obama, get down! <laughs> um, zombie world. Uh, but also, oh, that too. That's my, also my half my extra deck is oh, now yeah. spell and trap removal. <laughs> it ha- uh, half my side deck, sorry. It has you to be. You could also just be your extra deck. Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? Uh, tornado dragon, three of. Uh, I'll summon it by two barrier Ripping statues. You don't play two barrier statues. But you know of. I know you don't. No, I actually changed the list. Are you playing Surely you're not crow? playing two. Uh, no. You should be playing one. You should. Be. Tree exists. That's too slow. That is far too slow. But you so but you want me to search it, <coughs> which is also too slow. There's the option of opening it, in which case you can chain to the activation yeah, yeah. branded in which red. Very so on which is very fair, but that's just a worse hand trap fan. Well, no, it stops their entire counterplay. It can literally turn off but two can't, disruptions. Can't I just? have a better hand trap or is there no hand trap that, that stops that either no you can't ash that you can't input that can you bell it in yeah. theory yes but if they have branded lost it's dead it is dead as doorknobs <coughs> um nah. I don't mind it but actually I don't mind it at all it's a, it's a one off slot and you can bring it out for an ash or some shit and then just side it side the other hand traps I actually don't mind the DD Crow uh Brendan's running the DD Crow on his list and I was like yeah keep it in it's fine. correct um, you can even play it over the second stray and just run one stray. Um, I would prefer yeah, you to. You can fit both. Yeah, I was going to say. I said to him, run to both. Um, two of the spell is the spice. The continuous. The spell is fucked. That right doesn't now. get you through Zombie World. True. Look, I've accepted that, like my decks in the past when I got system downed. System downed? System of a down. Yeah. Wah! You get down um, with the system. Yeah, you get down with the system. <laughs> and it banished every clear on my board. That's just a life I have to live. And in your graveyard. If, great. Uh, you know, all those pendulums all those, in my grave. All those clues in the grave. <laughs> my tower's in the grave. Um, I just have to live in a world where that exists and I hope to fucking God nobody shows up to big events with a huge zombie world package in their fucking extra de- on their side deck. Well, you don't have to. Because you just activate brain infusion, you yeah, send, yeah, the, send the thing and then do the thing. Then yes. Boop. Can you DD for that? It can chain. Yeah, okay. No, no, I'm saying, like, can you activate it and then I crow? Is that how that works? It banishes its cost. Oh, that's so pain. We went through this in our match because you were looking at but it. I don't, have, like... I don't have I didn't have a quick play way to get rid of it. So I was like, I know I can go normal street, do the thing, you go chain. But. Without yeah. a quick play way to do that, or has no, a fucking so... monster negate it somehow. Great. Yeah, the option can is you spell ash- and No, you can't actually with Benedict. We went through I this. I hate this. I hate this. Look. <laughs> oh, no, someone live, has an out of my we, board. We live, we live with our consequences. Uh, and if we go first and summon a barrier statue, it doesn't matter. So. Yes. Just win the dice roll, idiot. I'm too busy fighting a hiccup and a cough here. That's very annoying. <laughs> <telling me. laughs> um, other than that, though, Meow Band is. It's pretty funny. It's, it's sad, it's, but yeah, look, also funny. Look, it's not like we didn't we're, predict it, Jake. We're in an True. eternal format. Like, I feel like it could have just stayed around. No. no. He could have, like, they could have put a uh, thingy to one and then just lived with that deck for the next couple months. Who cares? So, they could have waited till after YCS Hartford to have the list go into effect and not fuck a bomb. Yeah, yeah so that's the other thing. People. Yeah. It was almost immediate, right? Yep. It was, like, really close. It was, I thought it was, like, the next day or it, the day. It was effective immediately. Yeah. Yeah, but then Hartford was that weekend, so they had. Did what? Hartford happen? I think so. I think Hartford happened the weekend just passed. We should find out who won at Hartford. <laughs> yeah, didn't Lewis post a bunch of lists, or was that from something else? Oh, uh, I got it. Uh, attention. Yeah, because a whole oh. bunch of lists oh. got posted, um, and I had assumed uh, that that was from YCS Hartford. I could but- be wrong because I was very drunk. If this is the case, I saw a dude today that posted like a 10 0 regional list or something mm-hmm. like that, like a 9 0 regional list. Would all the scrubs just not. Would 
that would just be a regional scrubs, I'm assuming. You because would think so. Because all the good players would be at YCS Hartford. Yes. I guess, yeah. I mean, but that's a big event. A big regionals. That's It's American regionals. It's a fucking big ass. Okay. They um, have big American spaces. Uh, this is... has to be wrong. Has to be wrong? Oh, it's YCS Charlotte. I hate this. They're so late to are you everything. On the, are, you on the, are you on the Konami website? Yeah. Ah, see, that's your problem. That's your problem. They you suck. need to be on a different part of the Konami website. <sighs> I hate this. Just go I... to the events page in Konami USA. Events page. Um, yeah. Events. This one? Uh, yes, when is it? Uh, 28th, 29th. Ah, so it's this weekend. Yes. Okay. Hasn't happened yet. Hasn't happened yet. Nope. So those players at least had time to fix their decks. But like, yeah, if you're to... playing prank kid, <laughs> they had time to buy invocations for their prank kid deck. <laughs> Surely they don't. Huh? Surely not. We'll have to buy them. Surely they just don't play prank. Yeah, you, nah, you can... I just play prank. It's fine. It was good before. <laughs> it I, was good before. It I am good after. certain that this is just a push to have people go, "Oh, your linky deck broken by the structural." <laughs> Here's the thing, or, right? Hear me out. They don't, and they just play invocation. It's not good. I'm gonna be honest you with you guys. Fun? I got through an entire format without reading a single one of their links. Every time I versed them, I just summoned my board. They couldn't play, or I shifted them and they couldn't play. I have never read me out. Oh, you don't. I don't know what it does. Uh, it, <laughs> it it doesn't do anything. It says link one. Nah, it uh, banishes for grave to replace a tribute for cost. Sure. So effectively, yes, you can go without having ever to need to read it. Most people were shuffling it back in anyway so that the yeah. link plays alive for next turn. So literally, it's just a prank link that triggers from their normal summon. Oh, okay, right. So enable them more than anything. It's not like it's inherently fucked, but it was just like the enable. No, the card or... itself, like it literally could have been a vanilla and it would have done exactly sure. the same. Oh, um, yeah. It would still be on the ban list. That's funny. First vanilla card on the ban list. No. We went through this. Ban list, not limited. <laughs> uh, moving on. Not going to uh, have another aneurysm <laughs> over this voice. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Um, so to circle back as well, you were questioning a little while back whether Night Assailant uh, got eroded or not. It did it has? Bragg read it on the bandless prediction. It hadn't been eroded. Yes, but it has now come into effect. Oh, they so had they announced the, the okay. errata. What Night the, Assailant? Hadn't... Wait, hold on. Yes, so my they... brain's breaking. What? If that's not the thing that sets Necro Valley, right? No, Night Assailant is the infinite loop. Uh, flip card. Yes. So when so it goes it's original... to grave, it adds back a flip. Yes, so that was its original effect, that if it was sent to graveyard, it can target a flip monster and add it back. Then they routed it to say that you can target a flip monster other than itself and it's, add it back. It is a flip monster? Yes. So you... so if you had double Night Assailant, you just keep looping them back and forth. Yep. But then um, doesn't this fall into the period of thing where you declare, I am doing this X amount? Oh, well, no. It's more like if you have a discard cost. You discard it, adds oh. back the other one. Discard it, adds back sure, the other so one. You can just it's just a card economy loop, not an actual loop loop. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but they've now errated it again to say that it can target a flip monster in your graveyard, except Knight Assailant. Sure. So now the loop is dead. See, I thought that they had announced that errata months ago. They but did. then when we checked the database, it just wasn't there. They just didn't apply it, I guess. Uh, also, um... It might have been an OCG thing that we saw the OCG maybe. had errata Sorry, it. I'm just... Looking for the decks that gave a fuck? Oh, literally nobody. Yeah. Um, but we could it's play just... it in branded and add back. I don't know the flip card that that deck has. A Shadol card, perhaps. If could people are playing Shadol, bad list beast. Um, Draw dose <laughs> later. Later, because <laughs> it's already engraved, so you've yes. probably already done it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's now official. Huzzah! Um, in other news, um, there's yes, apparently a Rush Duels dub coming. Wait, hold on. There's a Rush Duel anime? Yeah, it's been going for quite a while. Yeah, it's it's been going for like two years now. When we got Master Rule 5, they were like, Rush Duels anime! Rush Duel and is like, in the thing that's like three slots, 2k yep. life. Three slots, summon as much as you want in turn, draw... Because like, the protagonist doesn't like the rules. Um, so yeah, apparently we're now actually getting that um, in... Something that. How people... long ago did did Reigns finish in the English dub? Oh no, uh, it's all pedo bait. So this yes. premiered it, premiered in April 2020. So no, but when did we finish the dub for Reigns? Because I swear that finished uh, like it would a have year been ago. like November December the year before. Can Yu-Gi-Oh go rush? Really? How about go away from me? 
I don't, I don't want this. I don't think Jake understands my question of the dub versus the sub, but it's fine. They've finished early. Yeah, it's been finished for a while. That's the point. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. And they've done this with several series now where they've just decided like right towards the end where they might have had a decent plot line coming in just before they're like, we're going to kill it now. I'm going to be honest too. Uh, these cards look way better than ours. Why didn't they do Reigns the final season part four? Because uh, nobody cares. I didn't watch it. <laughs> Did you watch the final season part three? I didn't watch any of it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, nobody did. Oh, I'm sure people in Japan did. I'm, I'm not sure if they did because they cancelled it early. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is that the only Yu Gi Oh series to be cancelled so far? No. Reigns didn't get cancelled, did it? It didn't get cancelled, it got shortened early. Sure, so it they ran got out of told budget. You have to have it done by this point, and so they got it done. Okay. Uh, what? But no, it is not. They've, that's not the first time that it's happened. They've done it with GX. They Aww. did it because yeah, GX was shit. No, yeah. it wasn't. No. GX is a masterpiece. How dare you? Shit. He is correct. <laughs> Terrible series. But they also without did GX, it... we don't get Magna Warriors. Good. No, um, like that's just wrong. I just that lied. is absolutely I just wrong. Lied. <laughs> no, I don't worry about it. We Bad don't think... city. Yeah. Um, they also did it with Five Ds. Good. And they also like did it with Frames, obviously. What was the one after that? After five days. Uh, Zexel. 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 I'm pretty sure they did it with Zexel. But... They got all but OG series then. OG series. Oh, so. Best series. I constantly forget that the OG series has more than two seasons. I forget yeah, it's that. five constantly. seasons, but you don't watch the five seasons. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, you didn't did, watch the Raphael bad. season? I, yes, I did. Where his cards were scuffed as fuck? Yes, I did. Um, I also watched the uh, Dual Mask. No. That's a different series. Uh, the the when you have your dude, Dungeon your Dice gamer, Monster? yes. No. But oh yeah, the when, you, the when you have the gamer, the virtual world. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have your gamer next to you, and he's like, and and one of the guys has the sea monster thing, and he's like, um, and then there's the penguin. And the he's ping- run the numbers. I run, run the, the numbers. numbers. Yeah, and you've got the penguin who plays himself. Yes. Uh, he's like, I play me, um, <laughs> and he's like, who? Oh, um, I go. Yeah, I, I don't think numbers. I think we should bring that to IRL. I want a deck. People master. have wanted that for ages, but the problem is by people our... you mean Farfa. Farfa screams it from the rooftop. <laughs> yeah, whenever really. they go, we need a new format. He's <laughs> like, this is the format. <laughs> this is it. I think I, I looked it up a while ago when we were last discussing deck masters. There is a very small but specific database as to like the deck masters that have documented effects. But as I was about to say, the problem with that is that that wouldn't be enough for people. Oh. And you'd need to code effectively, like, what is it, 6,000 monsters as to potential deck yeah, masters. Because yeah, they're like, you no, yeah. I want Chamber Dragon Maid as mine. Did Jake just try to impersonate me? Yes. No, th- that's a terrible impersonation of you. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um, uh, oh, on. Bragg. Uh, um, What's Bragg done? Uh, so, right after the Rush Bull dub. Um, He's then put no rush product though. Yeah, yeah no rush product. No we rush don't product. need rush product. Oh, no, we don't. I, I, do you know what's really funny? You very well might have seen this. Um, on the Icon website for like ordering product and on the LPG website for ordering product, it all says um, Power of the Elements comes out in August. Yes. Like middle of August. Because it does. No, it won't. What? I swear to fuck. You know it's going to be September. You know it's going to be September. Main, they don't delay main sets. Huh? Oh, right. I guess the things they try, are delayed they is they a structure They try to keep main sets to schedule. As the, I Even guess... the one that we thought was getting delayed here didn't get delayed. They actually delayed the other one, and I think it was a mix-up. Um, It was the structure deck and Dimension... Whatever the fuck. Yeah. So Dimension Force didn't get delayed. The Ghost other from the one past did. didn't either. What was the other one? Um, The one that has Mystery Room shit in it. That's been delayed. Oh, that's been delayed. Yeah, that was nice. supposed to be out like next week. What? Ah, what? Hang on, what? that's now the end of June. It has labyrinth things and quick plays and. Is it a? Is it a foil set? It's a side set. Yeah. Side set. Yeah, it's, it's like the one of the rare, or the collector set. Are we getting a set this year, like a TCG Toon Chaos set? We've had this discussion. Uh, I think we do. Yeah, it's Have the it? water one. Is it not? Abyss Deep. I thought that oh, was no. the Duelist pack. Maybe it is. Then wouldn't this be the Toon Chaos thing? But it's not. OCG got it. OCG doesn't get the Toon Chaos set. Oh, oh is that us? I don't exclusive? think we're getting a July all rare reprint set this year. That would be Unless weird. I'm just an idiot and I'm completely spacing on this. 
Because what is there? There's the Abyss set. There's the one you said before, the Mr. Rooney thingy. Yep. Um, there's meant to be some other Duelist pack coming out, I think. That's Prorexian Warriors. Yeah. That's not until September. So yeah, maybe we're not. Maybe, yeah. Maybe we're just not this year. Look, it wouldn't arrive on time anyway. Okay. So. Um, oh, Power yeah. of the Elements. Yep. Mm -hmm. August 22. That's later than... 4th of August, 2022. That's I'm better. Yep, that's the correct date. Me. Yep. <laughs> um, immediately after that, I'm reading from Icon. Um, Tin of the Pharaoh Gods, September 15th. Yep. Um, immediately after that, Speed Duel GX Midterm Paradox Box in September. Elemental Heroes Portfolio. Elemental Hero Card Case. Let's go! We've been through um, the Sleeves. Elemental Hero game map. Hang on. Hang on. We've no, been hang through on. this. We've discussed this before. It's fucking awful. It's a cut paste play map. But is it rubber? Yes. Oh, I'm buying it. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you guys. If I'm getting it. You guys seen the arc, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's just a bunch of squares. Yeah. It's shit. And then they, they couldn't even be bothered to extend it to the. I'm buying it. I don't give a fuck. Fuck all y'all. All y'all can suck a caterpillar dick. Uh, Legendary Duelist Season 3. Has a go of me. For supporting Master Duel because it's not doing the things that he likes. Yeah, but this is doing things You'll I like. happily buy a product like that it. is openly fucking tragic. But I like it's it. It's real bad. Do not support no. bad decisions. <laughs> yeah, that's very it's fair. It's utterly shit um, product. Uh, Jesse mentioned me in a comment. Shut up, Jesse. You suck. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Legendary Duelist Season 3 in July. July. Tactical Masters. Yeah. 30th of June. Is July not before June? Is June not before July? Yes. Tactical Masters is the set that's been delayed for us. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Legendary Duelist 9, Duels of the Deep, yep. 16th of June. Yep. Mm -hmm. Why was the Legendary Duelist thing from July, like, so far up? Um, we've got a Albaz Ecclesia Tri Brigade card oh, case. It's already out. Deck box that was meant to come out in. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then that's it. Yeah, then we so, have one. Okay. Yeah, no announcement. Uh, of... Legend of the Crystal Beast is the structure deck. Yep. Battle of Legends Crystal Rate Revenge. That's yeah, that's not that's fun. In September. Um, other than that, I didn't miss anything. We're not getting one. Sag. Where else will we not. get? No, that it, that's the thing though. The July reprint set's actually been really good for getting just decent cards as rares. Like the first time around, we got Gamma and shit like that. Yeah, the second that's... time around, I can't remember what we got last year. Maybe they were <laughs> running out of good reprints to put in those, and now they're going to put them in like yeah. those in between sets. Yeah, which is fine as long as we get decent reprints. It's fine. What's up next? Uh, we better. have some questions and comments from our podcast oh, and Discord. So use. if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Um, jump in, say hi. Uh, cool bunch of lads in there. Um, you can sort of verse each other if you like or ask us questions such as uh, Dancing Duelist has uh, they have <laughs> is that an accurate representation of your avatar? yes and then you play the thing on the dual disc because that's the only way to play properly so if I'm wanting your cards <laughs> cram it into the dual disc <laughs> I still my no card to the graveyard <laughs> no, no banish zone by the way you, no you just no, throw the banished, it on the floor. yeah you just throw it <laughs> you're good at that it's true. Off the balcony. <laughs> Off the balcony. Uh, so Dancing Duelist asks, As time goes on, how do you think Konami will manage to power creep with no set rotations like other TCGs? Easily. Uh, Konami has to ban slash power creep every deck with the next... Uh, with Yeah, Not with true. the next in order to sell product. Um, they've had no problem true. up until now, so yeah. I'm sure yeah, they'll, they'll be They'll just keep doing Konami. They'll just um, keep releasing broken stuff, keep banning it, and then release more broken I was, stuff. I was going to say, because they have a ban list, they could just bring down the power level but better. Yeah, that's literally just what Konami's been doing since they got yes just, anyway uh, go, but yeah there's more pat, 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 um, there is a lot more but I feel like it's all the same sort of question we've already answered but I'll keep reading yep. um, at what point do people stop playing because every set <sighs> is just busted beyond belief and is forcing players to shell out money at an event uh, at an even higher rate than what they do now in order to simply have a seat at the table and that the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh pricing is ass. Yep. Uh, thanks for a mat in the deck box that cost you five bucks to make in exchange for the thousand dollars I invested into my deck and the hundreds of testing hours I put into this regional prep to top eight it. Yep. Can you ever see, or would you want Konami to revert to a less combo oriented game style where good players People can win games it. by gaining a series of small advantages over several turns as opposed to uh, combo this, break my board? Yep. 
uh, that doesn't always reward you for being a better player. Uh, really quickly, um, people thought that Construct being as expensive as it was at the time was going to ruin Yu-Gi-Oh! and people would stop playing. That was eight, six years ago at this point. I don't, and the game's more expensive than it ever has been, just by numbers. I don't think that will stop anybody. Uh, two, people will get bored if we go back to a less combo-orientated um, format. The only things I've seen from people about other games so far is that they're too slow, they're too uninteractive, and that's why they don't want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! That is the most common thing I've seen in all my comments, all those comments. I haven't looked at yours. Um, yeah, I think they're comments. Um, all my comments are people bitching about other people. Yes, but, but <laughs> that is the thing I've seen from Yu-Gi-Oh! players, that it's like, it's too, even though literally, like... It, that should be the case, but I don't think that's what Yu-Gi-Oh players want. So even though historically I would, it hasn't been, yeah, I would love the so. game to go back to a, 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 that place, but I don't think it will. On the topic of wanting a, a I guess, a slower, more interactive game state, it's kind of where we are now. Branded is not a combo deck. Yeah, branded's not a big combo deck. It's very much like a mi- manage your micro interactions deck essentially it's like it is a lot of very small incremental plays like the the benefit is that like it's not like a 1400 attack monster that you get to attack with once that does set up big things but it's very small advantage games over time the other thing is too um if the pace of this game is not for you. There are, as Blake said, other games that you can play and all the that are made of other games. Yeah. Exactly, that you can play that are far more uh, rewarding to those types of game styles. So you can, by all means, play those games. You can, and the other thing is too, you can play the decks you like in this game. That's one of the biggest benefits of Yu-Gi-Oh! Is that unless your deck was super busted. It's still playable. Um, can I just get really quick, because uh, you two are branded players. I do feel like, though, if you don't do something really significant turn one, you definitely lose. Like, you lose, lose, if you have a bad oh, turn that, one. Oh, that's like that with every deck. But that's if the point. That, that's kind of, like, I think by what that is, it's not saying... The, the question isn't combo decks. The question is, this game revolves around doing a bunch of stuff really quickly to, to kill your opponent immediately. We passed that in like 2009. Yes, that's the what moment, I'm saying. The that's what I'm Dark saying. The Dark Arm Dragon release, exactly if right. you had a bad turn one, you were just behind in resources. And exactly what I'm saying. That's, is that I don't that's think, just yeah. the function of card games. If you have a poor turn one... That's not true. That's uh, a function of Yu-Gi-Oh. That's not a function magic, of magic. If you don't have any mana... Turn one, if you don't have any mana to put sure. down, you are well behind your game state. In Pokemon, if you have... But this isn't... But that's not... It's basic. not... I don't think that's anywhere near the same. That would be like you opening five right. hand traps in Yu-Gi-Oh! But you, you can still open a normal combo in Yu-Gi-Oh! And if your opponent has gone first, you aren't winning the game. It's yeah. not about... It's not well, about, like, opening nothing. Like, opening no land is opening between, nothing. between, like, a big heavy combo format and uh, what we are kind of in now. Like, in a big heavy combo format, if your opponent opens well and they throw literally everything at the board, they're going to build an unbreakable fucking, board. They've got like, savage that's, fucking thing. Like, you don't even have to rewind that far to get to those types of boards. Like, if you just go back to Ad Emancipator, those boards were fucked. Like, yeah. literally, you'd have to open a three-card thing to beat the board. I, and I, even then, you don't have the don't resources that, to then I, win. But I don't think it's that different. I don't think it's different at all. I don't even think it's close to different. I think there's a massive difference between your opponent going full combo and you breaking. Sure, but what I'm saying is, if it doesn't, the game the game ends the same way. The game ends in I didn't fully break your board. I'm going yeah. to lose now. Yeah. Even though you, I don't care if it's just a mirror jade. Yeah. If I don't fully get rid of the mirror jade, I'm then going to lose on the backswing. That's just the interactions of modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Exactly, and that's exactly my point. That's where I go, well, the card game I games. think we're, I think the type of gameplay he's talking about, which is a mid range build resources I think we I don't think this is this game for that so that rotates in like there are Yu-Gi-Oh formats again like I said at the start this current format is shaping to be something like that there are formats that rotate in where that is the style of play and that is something that will exist it's Yu-Gi-Oh's a constant game that's in transition and flux where every format will be different from the last in some way it may not feel like the current format's all too different from the previous format but it's dramatically different from the format before like, you will go through waves where, like, as the ban list progresses and you see power creep goes up and then it gets checked, you swing down into a mid rangey not control format, but a mid-range format, and then power creep starts to creep in again, and eventually you end up with, like, an absurdly broken deck. On the side of the game being expensive, 
Yu-Gi-Oh isn't expensive if you're on top of everything. Like, as a card game, fundamentally, it's not expensive if you're prepared. Like, I locked my way in to Branded, where I had just been picking everything up, because I thought Despia was cool. And I picked up my Lubas yeah. for 25 bucks. And I picked up my fucking... When uh, Chimera got announced, I was like, well, I'll just pick up some Chimeras when they're on the cheap. And then the structure deck's been announced. This card's gonna be expensive. Let's get it now. And I'm covered for later. People all of a sudden just ignored that fact. And then the structure deck's come out. And then, what, Duck's selling his deck for $800? Because he's got mm. everything? It's like, if you were paying attention and actively picking up cards over the past eight months, you'd be in the situation that me and Jake are in. Where we own the whole deck, and we've probably spent like $200. Do you, but do you think it's not expensive? What at what level? At the level that you can go to YCS and do well, or at the level you can go to locals and do well? What level don't you think it's expensive at? Because at if a, you say a YCS, you can't get around paying sword soul price. No, you couldn't. So you couldn't. You're at, paying eleven hundred dollars for that deck. Deck like, building is very important, hmm. and you don't have to walk into the room and have a playset of forbidden droplets. If you're playing a deck that doesn't require the Forbidden Droplets, you can't put Forbidden Droplets in every deck. You can put it in some decks, and, like, you couldn't put it in a Flunderies and be like, yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, it's not gonna I'm gonna discard nine, three then. birds from my hand Sick. to negate my opponent's three cards. Yeah, and then... That's not, just not, not feasible. Punctured. That's yeah. not how that works. Yeah. You don't need every expensive card to play every deck. If you're a good enough deck builder and there's a deck that you like and you can fully understand and understand your interactions and everything like that, it is still a skill-based game. Sure, For but the Wonder East... I, I agree with you, but this doesn't subtract from the fact that if you go every format since 2010, the best three decks have cost more than every other card game in existence. That's just how Fetch, it is. But, but yes, how, but that, that does works. mean Yu-Gi-Oh! is expensive. Yeah, as a statement, it means Yu-Gi-Oh! is very expensive as a hobby. Yeah. Like, that doesn't... And it doesn't shun the issues that it has in printing that they could fix because the secondary market doesn't make them any money. They could fix that for us, and they don't. It's just the way it is. It's the way it always has been. And there's yes. no point complaining about it today when you didn't complain about it three years ago. And, and what I'm saying is, people were saying, the game's dead, it's too expensive. Back in contract format, and it didn't get fixed, and we kept playing it, and that's the world we live in now. We live in a world where... The game was I expensive thought, before that. It absolutely was, but I the first time I remember people being like, boycott the game, get rid of it. And I was like, sure guys. And I stopped playing for a while, and guess what? Nobody else, everyone kept playing, and everyone kept paying the prices they were paying. And now they're paying even more prices, and that's where we're at. And we're at that because we put, like, we're just going to keep paying for prosperities, for droplets, for cards that aren't essential. S something that's important to think about, I mean, you just hit the nail on the head, is that cards that are key to your deck now are not expensive. The archetype cards are, Ar have been cheap archetype for Archetype cards are relatively cheap. Sword yeah. Soul was probably the first one oh, in a while that exception. was expensive. Yeah. yeah, that's an exception. I but think, even so. then, you were winning with Protoss, which was four dollars. Yeah, yeah. Um, that deck was hell as fuck. Um, if 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 Protoss had come out in like 2014, yeah. Protoss itself would have been ultra, and it would have been eighty dollars. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's the thing though. Like in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, the deck itself is not worth expensive. It's what you fill it with, and if you're just patient, that stuff gets reprinted. Yep. It's, that stuff gets reprinted. Extra yes. desires, yep. all yep. these big pop so, cards that were super big money. And you mentioned it before, it depends entirely on when you invest in oh, yeah. stuff. If you invest in stuff early, like granted Ben and I got lucky in that it ended up being that Despia was like gonna be the meta swing in the mm. end, but we picked up that deck because we liked it and we paid like maybe 140, 150 of the entire core, which ended up being the cost of a single Aluba. So you can either buy the stuff early and get the value from it, even hand traps and stuff. If you buy your ashes for a hundred bucks at the start, like I did, oh my god, ashes using... might be the best value card I've seen. Hundred percent, and that's oh, yeah. and that's the the they thing with most like, yeah. to all staples. If you buy in early, yes, it's expensive. No one's doubting it's expensive, yeah, but okay. you look at the value you get over those cards over time. You make your money back three, fourfold in rewards that you get from winning. Like, yes, there's small rewards at regionals, but if you're, you've spent that money on the deck, you will beat 75% of the scrubs at your locals. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, Without you, even you can thinking. have a 30-man locals, and unless, if you've got 15 full-blown, I've topped regional competitors at your locals, sure, man. you might have trouble getting into top eight or going X1 every week. Sure. 
But if you just have a normal locals where half the players in the room are taking it seriously and half the players in the room are like not taking it seriously, you'll do fine with that deck and your weekly winnings will eventually accrue what you get. Like yeah. whether it be an OTS, you're pulling ultis, you sell the ultis, yeah. you get the store credit. And I think part of that is that people focus so much on what they're buying it for, like the price wise, rather than thinking of the value that they're getting. Yeah. Like if you think about the amount of time that Ash has been out, and if you'd been like, if I wasn't playing Ash until X point, I would have lost so many more games than I actually did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I might have saved say 80 80 dollars yeah and it's not worth the misery the fucking like shit feeling you have of like i didn't win a single game of my locals today because i got hand hand trapped the fuck out of and and i didn't have anything to do the counter swing Mm -hmm. and that's been the thing in new year for as long as off turn interaction has existed and i think that um you said one of the big parts about this game is that if your deck wasn't cracked out of its mind in Pendulum, for example, has started to come back, you can play a lot of your decks for a long ass time. I think the advantage to Pokemon is that it's, even at a meta level, cheap as piss. But the disadvantage is, in eight months, you're going to be playing a different deck. If you like, if you have like a brain where you go, I don't like doing the same thing for three, four months at a time, I'm sure that's for you. But if you have an archetype that you really love and you want to make it good and you want to, Loz is a great example of this. Loss has not done poorly at locals. No. That deck is not good. Like, DM as a deck is not good. Yeah. There are... You can add staple cards if you pick them up at right times to average decks and make decks consistent and good. It's a thing you can do. And, and that comes back into the deck building side of things. It's like, you don't have to play the absolute best deck in the room to be able to win. Pokemon the can be like that. Yeah. Like there is a case of like offshore, like staples and stuff are cheap. Everyone can yeah. play them. They're all very generic. But at the same time, like a dude who's playing like a literal Bulbasaur deck can't beat fucking yeah. Arceus and shit like that. So there is a point where, at least in Yu-Gi-Oh, that you can put in really good staples. Think about the decks that you're likely to verse. Counter build to especially their, with the side deck, a good side deck as well. A good side deck, and even and good side just cards a, are cheap. a good counter build to whatever you think you're going to verse. Rogue yeah. play, whatever you want to call it, to then do better. Like, and it's going to sound like abuse, so I'll apologize in advance. I'm sorry that your blue eyes deck from 2016 isn't quite good enough to compete with stuff. Today. Sure. I'm sorry. But if you build it correctly, it can do well enough. Andrew, Andrew that you topped can the YCS some... and was the only Blue Eyes player in the top three hundred people. Exactly, it ha- it happens. Like he, he did. I feel like that's an exception. It is an, ex- it is an exception, that but Blue that Eyes was, was like in a very a good... commendable place of yeah, work. Yeah, where like sure you could have asked people what the best deck is. Yeah. At that point in time, Blue Eyes was very good. Yeah. In in consideration to the other decks in the room, Andrew liked that deck. He knew that deck very well. Andrew's a very good, again, very good deck builder, a very knowledgeable player of the game, studies his interactions, and could pilot that to success. Your regular uh, I Like Blue Eyes back stone together for fun player uh, just doesn't know those interactions and Mm -hmm. doesn't study the meta enough to know how to properly deck build, follow their lines of play, and go from there. Andrew is a good player who knows those things ahead of time and knows I'm playing against this this is my interaction here and he hit that deck at a good point in time where it was coming like that deck won worlds four months earlier you can't say yeah. that that's a bad deck well I think it's yeah. weird but I don't think it's a bad deck at all yeah. I, um, but can I pose this to both of you because it's a very weird question you brought up poke, like the Pokemon deck winning I think the the actual big crux of Pokemon is that the better player wins most of the time and that can be really hard for people. So what do you think is a good balance of the better player wins because they deserve to because they put time and effort into their deck versus everybody should have a chance because I know players who are atro- who play atrocious decks in Pokemon and they will go 10-1-1 at fucking regionals because that's the way the game is. So that's an exception that Pokemon has in the fact that Every Pokemon deck is ultra consistent. That's yeah, where you but make. That, but that's hard on new players as well. Yeah, that's the thing. Though. Again, when you have, when you can effectively toolbox your entire deck in a card game, skill will rise to the top. 
Yu-Gi-Oh cannot afford to do that because nope. if you facilitate that in Yu-Gi-Oh, you've been FTK. The game's over. Yep. Yeah. And people will do it to you all the, day. The game has too high of a power ceiling to just be like, here is the ability to search your entire deck. Like, yes, there are cards that can search your entire deck, but sure. that's three out of 40 cards. You're not going any Pokeball into any Pokemon into... that gets you anything. <laughs> yes. Like, Arceus says, add two add cards. Add two cards, and you don't show them. reveal them, nope. it says, get but two cards. But do you think there's a balance of, like, giving new players a shot where if they open well and they know their deck enough, they can get over the top of a good of a player who knows the fucking deck? 50 times over the problem is you said new player there like oh even I would say like less experienced player say like say like a rogue uh, say like a say like a tier 3 tier 2 player say like a rogue player that situation can arise where if you hit again the right deck at the right time if you look like personally this is how I kind of ramped up into the game where I was very much a rogue player around zoo format time yeah. Going into zoo a hard format, hard time to be a rogue player. Yeah, going into zoo format though, I had Paleo, and Paleo yeah. was a good counter to zoo. And all of a sudden, I went from doing all lip, right lip. at locals to winning locals from time to time. I very much shot up when all of a sudden my deck was good. I understood how to deck build in the current format, and that's where you start to see that development. I was probably a year and a half back into playing the game, and I'd finally gotten my head around the complexity of the card game because it has a lot that I had to relearn yep. about yep. the way the game functions and that's when the uptick happened mm. I, do, sudden, I do think it probably has the highest um, barrier oh not barrier entry but this like the the floor skill wise is quite, yes. actually quite high yes. compared to the, most other Yu-Gi-Oh the requirement of game. knowledge for Yu-Gi-Oh is much higher than you need for any it's, other game re- yeah like I've just gotten back into playing Pokemon now and it's like I can do this here is my deck I can search any card anytime. Cool. I just need to know my interactions. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Away I go. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you again touched on it. I was in a similar position to Ben. I played fucking terrible decks for the longest time. Um, but again, once you get into the uh, rhythm of things in terms of how decks worked and things, you build around what you can. So part of that is people just want to play what they like. That's mm. fine that does need to come with the acceptance of the fact that sometimes your deck that you like won't win. It's, I, it's, I do, I'm do. i literally doing this thunder right now. I it's, walked into my fun, first but... locals coming back and was like, oh, I wonder how my pretty much season 5 Yu-Gi deck is going to go. And you were like... And I got fair fucking cost. destroyed. I yeah, had okay. one player who is terrible at the card game, no longer plays, was just playing Phantom Knights and was like, haha, you can't activate your effects and you can't attack. I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> I'm just going to make you watch me do so, like, the combos that I like to do. He told me about this. The other this day. man is my mortal enemy. <laughs> like, so he, he fog plays down your board and then just does a bunch of combos. Yeah, but doesn't actively kill me. Yeah, yeah. Just wants to do the combos that he can't do against every other player in the room. Because anybody else would go, no. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he told me about this. Um, and I was the same. Like, I remember the very first day that I came into our locals, I versed um, Bragg's at the time girlfriend. Uh, she was playing full power Shadol. <sighs> I was playing yeah. uh, a bullshit amalgamation of agents. Good. Um, the best play that I had was summon Hyperion, pop the construct, and poke for damage. That's the best that I could do. And she's like, oh, okay. Uh, Shadol Fusion, do the thing. So, like, again, it comes with the expectation that if you're playing a not-so-great deck, there will come a time that you can't beat the best deck of the game. But, at the same time... You're playing that against that deck in all locals. That's something you've got to consider as well. Yeah, and... Every matchup is different. Yeah, and the good thing about locals is if you're in a local tournament setting... Make friends. If you, there's sure. that, yeah. the, make friends, gain knowledge, gain cards cool. to get the deck you like, all that kind of thing. But the other thing is too, it naturally gets you to play against people that are typically at your level. So then you get to play a little bit more, you get to interact a little bit yeah. more, learn a little bit more. Um, 
the other thing I was going to mention too, um, he's mentioned about um, pricing and stuff. I won't read out the thing because it's, again, just the thing about pricing. Yeah. That has been a thing in this game for quite a long time. It's Konami's policy not to give out money. It'd be great if they gave out money. Um, Pretty much since the beginning of the game. I, I want to check because I don't... I remember like a weird conversation that happened between like at Worlds or something in like 17, 2017. Or, but like... Their, their their policy wasn't no money. Their policy was, if we give out money, this is classified as gambling or, or prizing, and we can't guarantee that to people under the age of 18, so we're not going to do it. Yeah. Because right. Dragon Duel stops at 14, you have that four-year age gap where it would where be illegal to play the card game. You can't give prize money to minors. But how does Pokemon get around that? You're they don't. You get masters. a scholarship. Masters. 18 and above. Under 18 right. to get scholarship money. So, in, uh, your parents get the money as well. Okay. Yeah. So, in theory, then, all they would need to do yep. is bring the limit of Dragon Door from 14 to 18 yep. and have standard play 18 Absolutely. and above. Your only problem is then, again, in Yu Gi Oh! there is, again, like we mentioned before, high complexity to the game. The 17, 18 year olds would fucking dominate yes. the 10 to 12 year olds. Um, True. Uh, Pokemon Randomly has three. There's only so much Charlie there's, Fox. There's, Junior, seniors, masters. Yeah. And they have that bracket because, as you were saying, because it's a game where, like, the better play tends to win, the top seniors were just like, oh, we get to fly anywhere in the world we want because we go to an event, there's 20 juniors, we win everything, we get every point, and then Pokemon pays for us to go anywhere. And they were like, the same flying chief, so they did cut off, like, that seniors, juniors, yeah. master. Like, yeah. So, again, that could be something that it they could do. Could it. I don't think they look will. At adding that mid tier. Yeah. But and they, I don't think that that would impact a great deal of it's it. Most, like, it mostly it's mostly adults anyway. Like, look at a YCS. Yes, there are young kids, like younger guys, there, but like a huge majority of YCSs are adults. Yeah, a like, huge majority. You say this, but flashback to probably the last YCS we had in person. Round one, I sit down. My <laughs> opponent sits next to me, reveals their playmat of a naked dark magician girl, and then their ten-year-old opponent sits across from them. Yep. Uh, I, man got judge called on him and got asked to leave. Another good just reason. Just couldn't understand what was wrong. Another good reason? Just split it. Yep. Just fucking, let's not do this. Yep. Just split it. Split it. That, by no means does this uh, condone that. Oh no, that dude also get in the yeah. bin. Those people get in the bin. fucking suck. There's it's super convenient super that a certain, Seb. Per, yeah, it's that Seb sitting Seb. behind the camera that I'm pointing at, so <laughs> you won't get to know if I'm pointing at the camera to the nonces on the internet or to the nonce on the lounge <laughs> what's uh, our next question we've been uh, on this question uh, for half an hour yeah. we have been however that is the only question oh, that's why oh, I was cool. happy for that to oh, continue I'm, on I, I had more rants I could have continued to rant about that um, well, please I, rant on oh I, I will say I will say though I, uh, very similar to Ben said especially to Rogue Level I look it bothers me the game is as expensive as it is because it there are ways to circumvent and make this better for their players that they're not doing However, as a hobby, and if you're doing this thing two, three, four times a week with mates, and you work, like, you know, a casual job, there is room to spend as much money on the game as you want at a low level, a medium level, a high level. If it's something you really enjoy, be smart about where you buy, look at the reprints coming up. You can afford to invest yep. money into staples and then sell them off when you need to. There's a functional way to play this game at a high level. Like, post post zoo format. Another thing that I just kind of had been picking up and locked my way into. I had full power spiral. By I I remember you being like, I have this deck, and I was like, Yeah, I I have this. I won every now our locals for two months straight, and then everyone stopped going. <laughs> yeah, I killed that locals. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that that happens. I go on this massive winning streak. I'm still not playing full expensive spiral like I'm not what playing Ash Blossom in that deck? like nothing Ash was overly even, Ash and Evenly right? Ash and Evenly were the two expensive cards they're not cards. even spiral cards I wasn't playing them yeah I was playing other cards and literally didn't have problems set up sleeper agent yeah it's well, such a basic mentality to go down I guess all... I guess um, super agents became like a little bit of money yeah, I guess 20 bucks yeah it was not expensive. It got reprinted not that long after, too. Like, I think it ended up being an OTS Super. I definitely sold Braggers Super Agent for 80 bucks. But anyway, that was before the... um. That was that was what... Didn't as even it do him mates, right? I didn't know he won, though. 
Um, I that was like as it released, and it was like fucking 70, 80 bucks. That's, that's... They were for ages. They were for a long time. Yeah, that. Yeah, I got that deck hilariously cheap and locked into it just being T zero. I was like, cool. You know how you guys were playing Zoo and kind of half beating me half the time. Mm-hmm. Now I am the one with the meta deck. Put your fucking brain to use, right? Yep. What rarities are splites gonna be? Oh, I think the okay, I, I'm possible. going with extra deck being secret rare, the main deck being ultra. Okay. Yeah, I can see it going the way of Sword Soul, where your best stuff's gonna be secret, unfortunately. Um, to back up on this as well, um, so it was Trickstar Sky Striker format. Um, I had competed in nationals the day before, um, scrubbed out because I was playing Sky Striker invoked and it was awful. Um, wow. So because <laughs> because all of my mates were going into Oceanics the next day and I didn't get an invite, I saw that there was a regionals, decided I would participate, um, and had one of the crowning moments of my YGO career in that I got top two in that regional with Metaphys. Oh, yes, you did. Yes, 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 uh, you did. For anyone who's not familiar, Metaphys is a garbage Suck. deck. Uh, and that was likes... at that time too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was not meta relevant at that point at all. But yes. what it did have was a very good counter matchup to Sky Striker, because what Sky Striker liked to do was banish your entire hand under Droll and you couldn't play. Oh, Trickster, uh, you mean? Yes. Yeah, or Sky Striker Trickstar. It yeah, was Resolver yes, Search. Yes. 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 Resolver Search. Well, uh, yes. I, I did that to someone at that match, and like the look on their face, because they were a like, new player, and I they activated Root Eyes Insight, and then I was like, Reincarnation Droll, and they were like, So I draw my hand, right? No. <laughs> News I was for you. Got back in. Uh, you, sorry. Yeah, I literally got back in and tricked up on that. I suck. I play <laughs> yeah. the worst shit. Oh, that deck banishes your hand. All right, I play the worst um, shit. But yeah, anyway. to, to my point, um, so Trickstar liked to banish your hand under Droll. Um, you couldn't play. Uh, what Metaphors like to do is banish their stuff and play next turn. Uh, yep. <laughs> so I was like, oh yep. no, you banished my Necroface. Uh, banish some more. <laughs> banish, banish, banish. <laughs> Level. Um, so that... I realized it too late. If I'd known about this um, would have interaction, I would have 100% played for Nats. Um, ended up getting second place at that regional. Um, so A big regional too, especially at those events. It was 32 people. Yeah. And like, it wasn't like they weren't playing meta decks. They were the people that scrubbed out from Nats before. So they were all playing, like all but one of them in that thing was playing Trick, trick Striker. The only person that wasn't was playing um, Warrior Spam, I think it was. Goki okay. spam. That was yeah. That was still a thing at that point. Mm. It was. It wasn't. I'm so happy I dipped for that format. Oh, was it Goki fire was fucking. I love that format. Maybe he was playing Spiral. I think he was playing Spiral. Okay. But either way. Yeah. I didn't verse him, so I don't know what he was playing. I versed uh, four trick strikers and one uh, trick star mech knight. Fair. Against the <laughs> against the trick. Mech Knight player um, I signed it in Soul Absorption got up to like 32,000 life points yeah let's go <laughs> and then he had a whole board full of monsters and I was down to 1200 by the next turn I was like at that Nats round one I sit down across from my opponent I look him dead in the eyes I'm like I ftk you at a regional three months ago didn't I <laughs> like, yep was like, cool uh, oh. he does standard combo turn one it's a, a trick strike and mirror and then I'm like activate engage so Jim's reincarnation trolls me and I'm like I deserve that <laughs> you know what fair enough <laughs> understandable <laughs> um, I would also like to um, formally retract a statement I've made yep about retraction section of the podcast Yu-Gi-Oh Yu-Gi-Oh being like full of nonces and all of you suck um, that is still true but <laughs> that I is want not to... the statement he's retracting no no, no. <laughs> but I want to add a caveat to that statement and we can end the podcast if, with this if we like Sure. Vanguard players are infinitely worse. All of you get the bid. Hundred <laughs> percent. Wise There's... players are worse. Wise players are pretty bad. All of you are the same. Uh, there was an event, a couple of events over the last like yeah, week. Final fantasy players are worse. Uh it's okay. At least there's not that many nonsense in it. Um, uh, there was a couple of Vanguard events over the last couple of days, and like apparent by all accounts, like showed up with like the most egregious play mats. Showed up with pillows. Oh yeah. Showed pillows. up with like. Wife, uh, I know, I know the why type of why, yeah, why, yeah, but yeah, just all you of gotta, you. You got to have your backseat doors with you. Yeah, yeah. Or, My or, ride or die, or, bitch. You, you, <laughs> you have to swap them with your mate at locals. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, I get it every second Saturday, okay, Jay? It's how it works. Oh, my God. We split God. the cost. Do you reckon they put the stuffing in the bowl and they put yeah, the stuffing yeah, in there? Yeah, absolutely. When they go absolutely. <laughs> you all suck. <laughs> We're bad, but you're worse, and I want you to know that. <laughs> I want you to know that. Yeah, I don't like when people try to shit on the Yu-Gi-Oh community for whatever reason. Ah, uh, your card text it's is because, so small. You're a bunch of pedophiles. We're mainstream. Oh, your card text is so small. He is Imagine the mainstream just now. being able to read. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do it. <laughs> Literally tonight. Your card text oh, is oh, so small. Our regular Omni negates. <laughs> your card text is so small. How like, do you read it? We don't. Against Harry and I, I was just like, in full, I'm intentionally trying to lose this game. <laughs> I summon the fucking, the moves only. Fusion. And I'm like, move zone, destroy. And Harry's like, it says face up. And I'm like, destroy my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, look for, looking forward to what happens with the new ban list. Well, again, I, I guess this would just be a format of new product. And when new stuff comes out, we'll play it. Um, the the interesting go. thing is, we'll we know we the product for the most part that's mm. coming out. Like, literally, like the deck builder thing would be fun. It won't be meta, realistically. The like labyrinth and all that shit. Oh, this room could be. That could be fun. I don't think it'll be meta. I think when you get a vanity spin dropped on you, you're gonna consider it to be very good. Hmm, that's true. Yeah. I did get a vanity's uh, yeah, ruler saw. dropped on me tonight, and I was like hard digging into the deck. I was like, Book of Moon, please. I, I was like, please. Your <laughs> Give. Not mine. Yours. Not yours. Mine. Ah. No. But that will conclude us Barry for tonight. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, link is in the description for below. Discord words. Leave your uh, what you're happy with and not happy with about the band list in the comments because that's all this fucking podcast is good for now. Leave your most hated other card game. In yes, the yes, yes. What's Tell us your... who you hate. If, yes. and, and if any of you reply, reply oh, why is it so late? Do you have a Yu-Gi-Oh! mortal enemy like me? If any of you say Duel Master, oh, that's a good I question. Yes, you. tell us about your Yu-Gi-Oh! mortal enemies. I like yes. it. Who is your Yu-Gi-Oh! mortal enemy? Mine has changed in the last two weeks after years and years and years. Um, you'll find out next time. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs>